Uh, so we're delighted to be joined by Michael Hamilton and Alan Scorgi, the director and producer of Bisping, the Michael Bisping story. Uh, Michael, we'll start with you. What got, how did you get involved in the project and what made you want to bring Michael's story to the big screen? Well, Adam approached me, and uh, at first I wasn't sure because I, you know, I wasn't the biggest MMA fan. You know, I watched the fights and I liked it, but I wasn't, you know, the huge fan of the sports, so to speak. And he said, "Let's just go meet him, and we'll figure it out from there." It was supposed to be a 30-minute meeting. Ended up talking for two and a half hours, and the rest is history. I said to Adam, "I got to be the one to direct this," and here we are today. And, I mean, he's such a personable guy, charismatic. And he's a storyteller, so it was a no-brainer. Um, Adam, for you, what, 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 what really drew you to Michael's story? It was, I mean, when we all talk about, like, Rocky's probably one of the most iconic, like, underdog stories, right? Especially my generation. Everybody's seen it. Everybody knows the Rocky Balboa story. When you hear Michael's story, you're like, man, he's the real-life Rocky Balboa. Like, he actually did it, but he's from, it's like a UK perspective, but he did it with one eye, right? So I actually think it's more impressive. Plus, I've, I've said this lots lately, I was like, he has 10 times the charisma that Rocky Balboa ever did, right? They have the same underdog story. So similar to what Hammy said, once you meet Michael, you're like, wow, this guy, like, we can just turn a camera on. If we're stuck for something, just let him roll, right? You don't always have that with an athlete or a champion, right? Some are great at being a champion. They're not great at being charismatic or being a storyteller afterwards. So once you meet Michael with the incredible story he has, we knew we had something special. And how exciting is it to be back here in Manchester for uh, the premiere of the film? It's full circle, right? And this is where it all started, and it, it, it was a no-brainer, you know. And ultimately, we knew at some point we were going to have a screening here, but to be a part of the Manchester Film Festival and have Universal as our partner, you can't you know you can't write that, you know. This is perfect, perfect setting. So I know for me, I'm I'm uh, to be able to do it here with a UK audience, being the first like screening we've done with an audience. I I, I couldn't be more thrilled. I love. It's like, for me, it's like watching the film all over again when you watch it with an audience because you hear the oohs, the ahs, the laughter, the things that you, we've seen it, you know, editing and in the private process a hundred times, but watching the audience like a whole new experience. And I'm actually really excited for Michael to experience yeah. that because we've experienced with other films and seeing the emotion stuff it draws, but I'm really excited for him to see because you forget how many other people took time. You know, nobody paid, for, we didn't pay for any interviews. Everybody volunteered their time from Vin Diesel and everything to share their, their personal story. So I'm excited for him to see it with this audience as well. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you, you very much.